And welcome back to the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. Aaron Like, joined here by men's and women's coach for golf, Coach Kevin Wooden, also for the women's basketball team here on MSUB campus. Uh, hour number two here on the live sports preview coming to you live from the campus store where it is the 2017 grad fair. And we'll talk about some seniors here in a little bit, Coach. But uh, we'll get right into it. So uh, men's and women's golf, um, obviously looking forward to uh, the spring season here. Um, probably kind of maybe tough for you as you kind of double dip a little bit and do the, the women's basketball and the, and the golf. But what are some things that you're looking forward to this really semester, this season um, for the golf teams? Well, I'm really excited about the golf. First of all, I couldn't do this uh, without uh, having help. And uh, Jeff Allen, who's a former player here, is one of my assistant coaches. He's a, a PGA prof assistant professional over at Highlands. And then Marcus Strange is also helping a lot. And Marcus played here. So they're in, uh, doing the multitude of the practice work right now because I'm still with, with the uh, women's basketball. But I've been able to cross over with those. But we're very excited. Uh, uh, to get the spring underway. Uh, definitely winter has uh, been tougher than ever. Uh, I think a year ago I just took over the program and but last year February of 16 was beautiful. They were outside the whole month this year. Uh, we've only been outside you know for a few days and then again here came the snow but our men's team's excited. Uh, they're actually flying to uh, California for their first event uh, this Saturday. They play on uh, Monday and Tuesday in a 54 hole event and uh, it'll be great to see them outside uh you know i uh, wish they'd had more practice but uh they're, they're they've been working a lot hard very hard in the weight room fitness and also with the uh, indoor simulators down at mitchell our women's team will uh not start until spring break uh we're driving down both teams actually to co-host a, a vegas invitational uh we're co-hosting with minot state and that's uh uh, march 10th and 11th are the dates of that so that's when the the women will officially start yeah, Coach, you kind of talked about the uh, the winter weather here in Billings, and it's been pretty rough this, this winter. Um, probably a lot different than other schools and institutions across the, the nation who might have good winters and, and golfers are able to go outside. So what are some things that you and the coaching staff have done this past, uh, you know, kind of break within the winter to kind of keep the golfers on, on, yeah. on their game. I know you talked about the indoor simulator, but is there anything else that these guys and girls can do? You know, you, you do as much as they as we can. Uh, the, we've had uh, two to three weeks, two to three sessions per week. Uh, Jeff does a really good job of organizing them, so it's not like you just show up at a simulator and hit. I mean, they're doing five five shots from of the, of the certain clubs. Uh, sometimes playing a course, you can. Um, Mitchell Golf has has been a great uh, sponsor for us. I mean, they give us some discounted rates, and uh, we definitely have a higher bill than ever this year. But uh, the guys and gals have gotten good workouts there. But it, it really is, isn't the same. So uh, it's definitely a disadvantage uh, going into these first tournaments. But it is what it is. And that's just where we live. Uh, as far as uh, fitness and strength, uh, Nick Pertweet uh, works with all of our teams. And he's done a good job. Uh, so they... Uh, they, they get up and they, they've been getting a couple of those workouts in. Um, and then we, we try to do some indoor putting also at Mitchell Golf. But really that's just inside of eight feet. But we have some drills there because uh, it's carpeted. So uh, you just see, we'll see where we're at uh, next week. I, I, uh, I'm excited Jeff is taking the players down. Like I said, they leave Saturday. And, and then uh, all three coaches will head to Vegas with both teams uh, uh, in uh, – in early March there it's actually during our spring break and we're going to drive and and get to play a couple courses on the way down there and have some practices there so we hope to be really uh, ready for that that event awesome yeah coach I mean do you mind if you if you go through both uh, both squads that you have and kind of highlight some players that you're really looking forward to this year that you know could do some big things yeah on our uh, men's team first we have two strong seniors uh, Connor Maelli uh, is a senior as well as Michael Porter. Connor's from uh, Edmonds, Washington. Michael's from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, they're they're two very good players. Uh, Connor's also our team captain. Does a tremendous job with the the unity of our team. Um, and then we have uh, um, 
also uh, going to California this week is uh, Caleb Stetzner, who actually leads our team after the fall in scoring average. He's a, a freshman from Anaconda, Montana, and just had a tremendous fall season, very consistent player. Um, and then the, uh, another freshman is playing in the top five as well is uh, Garrett Wooden. Uh, there is a relation there. He's, he's my son, uh, so I'm proud of him from, from a father as well as a coach and point of view, but he'll be going. And then Scott Larson from Kalispell, who's a sophomore, will be our fifth player. We have two more players in uh, Dylan Message uh, from Laurel and Austin Walter um, from Billing Senior that are in the mix as well. Uh, we will take all of them down to our Invitational in, uh, in Las Vegas, and then throughout the spring we have to uh, eventually uh, – get ready for the GNAC championships in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, we will take five, and that's in the end of April. As far as the women's go, we have a, a strong nucleus of team back. We have six players there. One player, Anna DeMars, is, is uh, in her second year, but this year she redshirted to do a shoulder injury. Um, so our team is made up of uh, Bailey Dexter, a junior from uh, Townsend, Montana, who had a great uh, uh, fall season. Courtney McNeil from a Billing Senior, uh, Shea Hafer from Butte High, Haley Shackelford's our our only uh, senior on the team this year. She's from Gillette, Wyoming, and then Sammy Walter, um, who play, played very well in the fall too. Uh, she's from Billing Senior. She's actually Austin's Walters on the men's team sister. So we have a little connection there, family connection. But I look for both teams. Uh, uh, they've worked hard in the off season. As the weather gets better, I, you know, we, the thing about golf is it's not how you do in the first meet versus the second meet, third meet. It's you want to be peaking at the right at the end. It's very individual in nature. Uh, collectively, it's really important to play well as a team. But as far as like the first event doesn't have a lot to do with the last event. So we just want to continue to get better. And uh, you know, the GNAC's loaded in golf talent. Uh, obviously, they come, the other teams have a, probably a better climate than us, so we're a little disadvantaged there, but we're looking to uh, have strong seasons and then uh, be peaking when we get to Coeur d'Alene in late April. Yeah. All right, Coach, I got you just for a couple more minutes, so we'll uh, switch over to uh, women's basketball. So I assume uh, the reason why you're not going with the guys this weekend is because you still got a little bit more business to do on the court. And uh, two more games here in the GNAC tournament. Uh, Big senior weekend for Tiana Hansen, the senior on the team. So, uh, you know, just talk about maybe Tiana Hansen and what you're looking forward to these last two games and kind of just the, the season overall, if you want. Yeah, the, the season overall, I mean, we're, we're not – this is only the second time in, nine, I think, nine years that we haven't made the tournament, uh, but it wasn't without effort. Uh, you know, I had some – you know, difficult situations from Vanessa Stavish's mother passing away, and she ended up redshirting, so she never played at all. Alicia Breen, the preseason player of the year, getting hurt early in an exhibition game and being out. And, you know, the, the silver lining there is uh, Alicia will be back, and I know she'll be stronger than ever. Then Taylor Edwards, uh, we had two concussions. So I, I think... I, I did just look it up, but collectively, I had more players miss games this year, just in this season, than collectively my previous 12 games, 12 years altogether. So uh, it's not an excuse. We still had our opportunities. Uh, we're just finished, uh, just a little bit out of it. Uh, we hope to uh, finish well this week. We play two good teams that are still in the hunt for the uh, sixth spot in Central Washington and NNU. And like you said, uh, Tiana Hansen. Uh, uh, without her this year, uh, I don't know where we would be. Uh, she made incredible improvements, more than I've ever had any single player do. I mean, if you look at her averages from her junior season with us to her senior, uh, she's just had a tremendous year. She's in the top five in, in scoring and free throw percentage, free throw attempts. Uh, she's in the top ten in the league in rebounding. Uh, she's been a captain, more vocal, etc. So we want to send her out right. Uh, another senior, we, we don't have any other playing seniors, but Alyssa Yeager has been worked with us for two years from Lewistown as a student assistant. Uh, we'll honor her as well on Saturday. But uh, we have a lot to play for. Uh, we have a lot of pride, and I, I hope we play well. These two teams will be focused. Uh, you haven't played them in quite a while. We haven't seen them in three months, so it'll be interesting to see who's improved more. All right. Well, Coach, appreciate all the information on the men's and women's golf team and the, the women's basketball team. Again, a, a good opportunity to, to catch us on MSUBSports.com here this weekend for the last two games um, of the women's uh, season here, honoring Tiana Hansen and Alyssa Yeager as your student assistant. So appreciate it, Coach. Good Thank luck. You. Yeah, golfing and, and the basketball. So 
Uh, we'll be back here in just a moment um, with more student interviews. <laughs>